When you trust yourself, you have the power to make up your life. Studio 1031 is an environment where excellence is always expected. We work with all types of people from all walks of life. We give deserving women something that they wouldn't give themselves. Come join this makeup movement. When you're feeling down, turn your life around. Make up your life. week we're back so how are you guys welcome to our post Oscar party yes post Oscar party we are here to catch up from the last two weeks we we were out last week due to the snow which never happened oh my goodness yeah I know I said I said if it doesn't snow I'm really gonna be mad and it didn't snow but I think I kind of needed a little break because you guys know I just came off surgery and everything. So I think it kind of worked out. Yes, yeah, it I did. Because so. yeah. we are here full throttle ready for you guys. So you guys need to like and, and share. share. Please, please. Strong Island TV, make up your life. Like and share. Studio 1031. Make up your life. So what are we going to get into today? Hmm. hmm. We are going to just give you guys a nice recap and remind you guys about what happened at the Oscars. Yeah. Bobby, run that. Run that back for us, boo. Ooh. Okay. All right. He's sitting real handsome slash pretty. Mm-hmm. And he won the Oscar. Oh, look at <gasps> J-Lo. Yes. She's Jay breathtaking. Lo. She's breathtaking. Yes. And congratulations to her and uh, A-Rod. You know, mm. they got engaged. Oh, my yes. goodness. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. Lady oh. Gaga. Lady Gaga always slays. All always the time. Always slays. She looks so beautiful. Yes. Well and deserved. Happy. I love that show. I love the, um, the movie. The movie was mm -hmm. excellent. Yeah. Okay. Miss Regina King. Talk about powerful. Yeah. Yeah. She deserves it. She Look definitely at her. did. She definitely did. She did that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. This was a statement. Listen, oh man, talk about attention seeking. Um I don't know. I don't know either. I'm gonna keep my opinion to myself. Because <laughs> this is not the Slayer Nay. So this is I'm not just the gonna, Nay, We're so just we going just... over. It's a what few images. Saw. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. So happy for him. So, so, so happy. happy. And this show is definitely dedicated to our boo. Spike Oe. Yes. Yes. Well we deserved. See you. Well deserved. Mm -hmm. Representing the purple one in that purple outfit. Loved it. Loved it. I need that dress. Oh, yeah. Stunning. 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 She looks just gorgeous. And some of these looks, I believe, was from the Vanity Fair uh, party, some mm -hmm. of them. Not really sure, but, you know, it was two weeks ago. The mine is, you know, terrible thing to waste. I really don't remember <laughs> a whole lot because I know. we were actually taping I know. when the Oscars were on. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So. How was your week? It was good. It okay. was good. It was good. I worked a little bit too much, for See, sure. See, that's not right. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, I did. I worked a little bit too much, but I'm here. So we had to do what we had to do. That's what we do. We push through. Yes, we definitely push. Um, my week was very long. Very long. It was. Long in a sense. Teaching. Oh, that's right. You started teaching. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How are those um, students? I actually love my students. I really do. Um, they're excited. I saw, I saw a few clips. They 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 they're really talented. They too. are so talented. Yeah. Um, I'm 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 just blown away. 
Yeah. I, I give them a challenging look and they listen and they do it. Like done. I'm like, oh, oh my goodness. And they're teaching me stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. Interns. I know. You know I we know. Need some interns. We sure do. We when sure we, do. When we open when we open up this big old well yes, stay we'll get tuned. to that later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right now we're gonna throw to commercial. We gotta pay some bills. Yeah. Everybody get up when you're feeling down. Everybody get up. Donuts or donut? Oh yeah, what? donut holes. Drop. Donut what? Donut, donut holes. Like a like a garden tool like hole. A, like a hole. Like a hole. Like that hole, hole over hole. there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like what, the okay. Yes. what kind of holes you got, yes. real quick? We got drunken holes. We got high holes. We got the regular holes and the old holes. <laughs> the old holes. <laughs> What's a drunken hole? My ex. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Cyclo. Let's wait to Mrs. Cyclo. Hey. Yay! Inspired by aerobic classes and a dream, Body by Tamika has helped hundreds of women reach their fitness goals. One size doesn't fit all and neither should your fitness experience. Body by Tamika is about creating an environment where women can come together to work out, meet new friends, and get inspired. Whether you desire to lose weight, tone up, or prepare for a mommy makeover, Body by Tamika is here to help. Body by Tamika is considerate to female weight loss challenges resulting from pregnancy and or life changes that can be extremely resistant to diet and exercise. For stubborn problem areas, Body by Tamika offers non-invasive aesthetic procedures such as laser lipo and wood slimming body contour. Book your free consultation today to see for yourself. Are you a tie lover? You love the diversity in ties because they come in different colors, fabrics, patterns, etc. Get access to a wide variety of neckties. Buy from or trade with other tie lovers. Don't wear ties anymore? You have more ties than you know what to do with? Want to turn all those ties into real money? Do you just need a tie? You just need a tie for a special occasion. Now you can buy a tie today and sell it tomorrow. The Necktie Exchange, the online retailer where you buy, sell, and trade neckties. Register today. Everybody get up! And we are back. Oh, let me mess stuff up over here. Okay. Mm. Mm. So, even though Black History Month is technically over, we're Black History 365. Yes, absolutely. (laughs) 365. So... This segment we're dedicating to our phenomenal brother, Spike Lee, because I am a Spike Lee fan. She sure yeah. is. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I, we know, we're not even going to go. I'm not even going there with Lori. No. 
I'm not even okay. going there. Okay, Lori, what's, how many Spike Lee See, movies have you watched? I said, have you don't seen? call me out on here. Okay. How many? One. One. And, and tell them, tell, t tell the viewers how, what, what, which one was that? School days. That's it. She didn't even see Malcolm. X. Okay. All right. So don't judge me. No, I really, you know what it is. Stephanie's always coming for me with this stuff, giving me history. Like, oh. I'm about to revoke her black card. It's, it's going to be revoked. No, she's not revoking my black card. I just need some time, you know, to catch up. One Spike Lee movie? But I watched it serious? like 20 times. 20 times. So, so you that, see that means that I really have been involved. I watched it over and over, okay? And I was torn on which side of the girls. Was I gonna be the natural girls? Was I gonna be the girls with the weave? You know? So. <laughs> you didn't see Do the Right Thing? No. Rosie Perez? No. What? No. Are you serious? No. All right, I told you don't say okay, this. You know, Bobby, please. She's blowing me up, Play okay. Play my favorite Spike Lee movies, please. She's Here we obsessed, go. okay? At least mine don't look so funny like yours. Well, at least mine is standing on my head. He's down and blowing his socks. I don't know whose house he is, but once I know it looks stupid and I can't stand it. I can't stand you either. Why don't you sit down with your black self? I'm black yeah, and I'm proud. She got good here. Yeah. She got Peter Rick in here. I ain't there, her man. Stop talking to me, y'all. Don't you be calling my sister ugly. I'll slap you in the next week. You're not going to slap nobody in the next week, all right, stupid? Minnie, why don't you get off my stoop? You think you're so pretty. I can't stand you either, Minnie. You think you're so cute. So Newest, latest. Let me tell you the story of right hand, left hand. It's a tale of good and evil. Hey, it was with this hand that Cain iced his brother. Love. These five fingers, they go straight to the soul of man. The right hand, the hand of love. <laughs> oh, I like her. Mm. Uh, look here, babe, bro. Uh, I'm a little light right now. Could you, like, let me hold some change? Mm -hmm. No? No, Gator, no, 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 no. The dancing shit ain't gonna work. I ain't giving you a red cent. What? Come on, you can do me this one solid. What? Well, would you rather I go out and rob some elderly person? Steal? Well, either way, I'm gonna get high. I really hate having to resort to knocking elderly people in the head for their money. But I'll do it. I'll do it. You know I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. You know I'll do it. I like getting high. Uh, I'm a crackhead. Ow. I like to get high. I'm a crackhead. My brother. I don't want to pass possession. I want to keep it with me. The best movie was for last. <laughs> the best movie. The best movie the, was the for last. The only movie that she knows <laughs> was the last movie. Okay. Yes. That was the last. And movie. that was the best. That was the, the best. No, the best movie. The best Spike Lee movie was Jungle Fever. No. 
No. She's got to have it. She's got to have it. Oh, the audience is chiming in. She's got to have it. No. Well. No, La I, Darling. No, I, no, I like, I, I like, um, no. I like that one too, but Spike Lee had a way of making you laugh, think. Yes, yes. He was very, very deep. All of his movies to me were just brilliant. So, mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, and he has so many more. He has such a big body of work. Those are just, to me, the fun ones. Those are the real fun movies that we just saw. But he had a lot. He had a lot of other ones. You had Malcolm X, you know, and that was dynamic. And he really launched the career of a lot of actors. You like that what? was that Samuel L. Jackson. That is true. Gator. Yes. I'm up. <laughs> She is so in she loves it. I used to Rosie no. Perez. <laughs> yeah, Rosie Perez. Yeah. A lot. A lot. Definitely a lot. Okay. Yeah. You got it. You got it. You got Every it. week I'm learning something new. Okay. So I'm set I'm setting Lori up with some YouTube videos because you can watch them on Netflix and, and, and YouTube so she can get up on the Why Spike you gotta say it like that? Because you need to see them. <laughs> You need to see them. Okay, you're right. You're yeah, right. I'm you gonna watch them. Definitely need to see them. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> you shouldn't feel bad, but you gotta be, you know, gotta be a little well, bit more up on some things. I know. I know. Yeah. Just a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. <laughs> anyway. What else happened this week? Um. Really, this week, uh, well, we, we had the whole thing with, well, we didn't have anything, but I'm sure you guys saw R. Kelly get arrested again for the child support thing. Come on. <laughs> like, I'm just absolutely speechless. I'm over this. I'm Can we speechless. Can we see some real news? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's like, so over him. Totally over him. Totally over and And, and it's like... Then we had the Michael Jackson thing. Yeah, they were dragging it this week. They, they were really it was dragging just a it. a lot happening. That interview with Gail King was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that interview you with know Gail what? King, he was. I think that's I when you're like, you're oh, like, he's bugging. Yeah, when you start bugging out like that, you're facing the music yeah. that is really going down. R. Kelly is a narcissist. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He was acting crazy. Yeah. He is crazy. Oh my God! He is crazy, and I'm, you know, I love his music. Me but too. What can you do after this man has done so much? Done so much to these women, like I, I, like I, I can't. I, I have to give my R. Kelly card in. I mean, I did years ago, but I told you guys I did go to see him a couple of years see? ago. See? Oh my God! At Westbury, I did. <laughs> I did. You know what? See? Hmm. But I will never feel? pay for another R. Kelly concert. I'm not supporting him. I'm not supporting anything that he's done to these women. You know, once you put faces to the stories, it's just it's hard. And it's just too many. It's like, okay, you know what? You're done. Yeah. You're done. How many more women? You know, some of them are not believable, but a lot of them are. I know. And the I parents, mm, they're sketchy too. I don't even know. Yeah, because I feel like. They should have had more control. They had more control over of their, what was going on. Of their on. kids, because I'm not letting my 16 year old get Don't on stage uh -uh. with R. Kelly, knowing no. that you know he's a molester. Everyone that and the parents are like my age, so if they're in their 40s, you know, hitting 50, they know you've better. seen the tape. Yeah. Okay, that tape <laughs> came out in 95, 90, 94, 95, 96. You knew that what was going on. He was suspect. Because I saw the tape and I told you guys before, I couldn't watch. I had to turn it off. I was like, no, nah, I don't want to see no more. Oh my goodness. So if you're sending your kids out there uh, to go to R. Kelly's, uh, you know, his studio, shame on you. Shame on you, You should have thought better. You should have knew better. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. What else is in the news this, was in the news this week? Um, mm, I don't know. That's really... The tax situation. Yeah, I'm still waiting. Like, yeah, my girlfriend told me that she's not getting anything back on her taxes. Trump, oh my God, I can't. I don't know what like, this guy what? is doing right yeah. now. This is crazy. It's absolutely He's crazy. He's shaking up everything, and it's yeah. not in a good way. No, it's in a really, really bad way. Mm -hmm. In a really, really bad way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. 
So with that being said, I think that was how many other things were going on this week? I think that was it really. Yeah. We had the Trump thing with the taxes, we had R. Kelly, we had um What about the Kardashians? Oh, did anybody watch Red Table Talk? Cause that was a lot. That was crazy. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. That was crazy. <laughs> That was crazy. But I applaud Jada for sticking up for, what's her name, Jordan? Jordan, Jordan. whatever her name yeah. is. Whatever her name is. I mean, she broke the girl code. I don't care what color you are. You yeah, don't do she stuff broke like the that. Girl code. Like, come on. That's tri that's That was very trifling. That's low-key like you was you starving. But yeah. let me, let's, let's get into it. How many of the Kardashians have done the same thing? Very true. Oh. Very true. Yeah. Every Very true. single what last goes one of them around, comes back around. Every single last one of them, and everybody's up in arms. Up in arms for what? Why? Why are you so mad? You mad at what now? Yeah. What? That's karma. Karmic energy. Every time, what you put out there is what you're gonna get back. And honey, she stole Tristan from his uh, the girlfriend when she was pregnant. And then she was Let's acting like it was it. no problem. Yes. Like oh, you know, you broke up our family, saying all this stuff. I'm like, come on, girl. Y'all already know how I feel about the Kardashians, so yeah. beautiful women, but shady, shady, okay? Remember that. So that was, what, Red Table Talk? Um, that was that was really it, really. You think so? I think so, too. Yeah. So with that being said, we're going to throw to another commercial, and we'll be we back. We're going to some bills. Everybody get up when you're feeling down. Everybody get up!
Hey, and we're back. We have my BFF here, Miss Nikki. Hey. <laughs> Everybody welcome Nikki. She's here for our Slay or Nay segment. Yay. So we are going to get right into it. We're going to get right. Have you, you watched, so you know what this is about. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, so Bobby, roll that Slay or Nay. Ooh. So beautiful, sexy. What you think? I just looked at your expression. <laughs> what you think? <laughs> That's me all day. Is I it love a that. okay? I love it, that. Okay, so is it a slay or an a? I say a slay. Yeah, I say a slay. You say a slay? It's a bit much, so it's a, I don't know. But it's sexy, so slay. I love okay. it. I love it. And who was that? Was that one of the Jenners? Oh, Lord. That was one of the Kardashians. Well, no, she's a Jenner. She's a Jenner. Oh, she's a Jenner? Yeah. yeah. That's one oh. of the sisters, the little one. The little one. Okay. That's the model one. Okay, yeah. because yeah. she's yeah. got no body. <laughs> she didn't do anything to herself. <laughs> she didn't do nothing to herself. <laughs> I'm just saying. So there's no spillage. No, no spillage. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Mm. What do you guys think? Okay. Negative. Negative? For me. Slayer Nay? Nikki? Ooh, I gotta pass on that. Yeah. I just, I don't know what's happening. It looks like, like a bird going on. Like, yeah. It, it's it's just the bell. It's looking like flamingo going wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah. I, no, mm -mm. flamingo going wrong, yeah. So that's a nay? Nay. Nay, nay lady? Nay. Nay. Okay. Nay? Nay. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, Look, she's rapping for school days. No, how do guys? Do? No, no. get guys out of here. Listen, yes, that, you're listen. right. That's what it is. See, That's what it like, is. Like, come on. But um, I'm gonna have to say uh, non cipher. <laughs> <laughs> non -cipher. My husband <laughs> says that all the time. Non cipher. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say non cipher with that because that's look that that looks crazy. That yeah, looks I agree. You know what? It looks a little drag queen. So nay. Yeah. It's that prom was, dressing. I don't know. I, I didn't like the hair. It was too much. It was just too, it was way too much going on. Yeah. Way too much. Mm -mm. No, so that's a name. Oh, is that Chadwick? Mm. Yeah. Is that? You know I can't see nothing. You know what? Yeah, I need my I glasses. Just, <laughs> I can't get with it. He doesn't, it's not moving me. It's just too straight. His he needs to be tapered in a little bit more for me. He's like, looking real bland to me. Yeah. What do you yeah. think? And what color is that? No, he's, he's looking like a plate of salmon. No. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Mm -mm. Yeah. So nay. Like that at all. nay. 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 Mm -hmm, I'll pass on that. Nay. Thank you. Okay. Pass. So nay. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Looks like lingerie. Trying to be sexy, but not really. Looks like a present. She looks like a present. I don't know what that's about. I feel like I've seen this on Fashion Nova. I feel like. Really? I don't know. Nah. No, it's a negative. Negative. Unless she takes the belt off and there's something fabulous under there. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just say nay. I say a nay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the high yeah, and low Stephanie, was kind of your played face. out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a nay. <laughs> your face, she's like, uh uh. Mm -mm. No, that's definitely a nay for me. That's a nay. So that was a nay. Yeah. That okay. was a nay. Terrible. Uh, this is not Oscar worthy. Like, come on. Come on, she looks like a bell. Yeah, what is like, that? Like, we just gonna ring her. What is she doing? Oh, gosh. I hate it. No. No. I, I see hate where it. she <laughs> <laughs> I see where she was trying to go. Where? Where's she I where? don't know. Like where? She was going for like a, a dainty kind of look, maybe. I don't think so. No. Mm. I don't think so. What? I gotta pass on that. It has it does it's not speaking to me. It's not saying anything. Mm. At all. At all. So no go. No. No. That's definitely a no go. No. Mm mm. Oh, that's it for the Slayer Nays. That was okay. it. Okay, so. That was yeah. Great. That was fun. <laughs> it definitely was. So, we are going straight into. We did the Slayer Nays. We are going I'm into. No, you're staying up here, girl. Oh. You staying with us. You, you, you in this whole segment with this sexy, this yeah, ensemble. Yeah, this guy like that. Stand up for the Let's people. Let's stand up. Come on, like, stand up for the people. Can we do a little twirl? Come on, do that twirl. Yes. yes. We are showing all types of sexiness. Okay. Yeah. 
That's how we do yeah. it right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, don't it's give nice me too much crown. All right, just a peek. Just a peek. <laughs> you, 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 you guys are doing... um. Oscars, right? Yes. Yes. I'm I'm doing BET Awards. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Right. Okay. It's, it's still an award show. Yes. yes. <laughs> I'm doing BET, right? right. Okay. And you look and then beautiful. Beautiful. jazz it up with the club so I can. I love that. No, yeah. I actually I love, love that. That's super sexy. It is very sexy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did that. Yes, yeah. and the shoes are looking nice, you know? Yeah. Ooh, yes. Yes. That's the that shoes. Scorpio stuff. Mm-hmm. That's that Scorpio, Scorpio vibe. Mm-hmm. Yes. I would be in pain and you would never know. Never know. My never toe feels like it's broken from last night. <laughs> yeah. But I'm still here. <laughs> okay. So, Lori, would you wear this out? No. Only because of my husband. And also, I would wear it, but not with the bodysuit. I would put like a little shorts underneath, maybe boy shorts. But I love it. And plus, I need to lose weight. It's super sexy. I, would you wear it? I yeah, know I'm wearing that. She wore this already, something similar. I'm wearing that. I'm wearing it. It's wearing super that. sexy. I'm wearing that. I need the skirt. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I can't it. really. And I can do it so many different ways. You can you know? pull it up high. And no, no, no. Like... I mean, I can rock the skirt so many different. Like, I can do this with a bathing suit and be on the side. Yeah. Right. I'll never get in though, but I can. Do it <laughs> you know yeah. what? I would wear it with, like I said, like um, a, like shorts, right? With shorts. Like little boy shorts. Yeah. Cause my daughter would be like, "Mommy, this. yeah, like a little short." Uh, Kylie Jenner had her whole thighs. Th- th- but that's not showing anything. She doesn't have anything it's to show. Big, so. But it still was like a little shorts. Yeah, it know? was. It was like. It was like peekaboo. little shorts. Peekaboo. Yeah. Like little boy shorts. Were they? I didn't see nothing on it. All I saw was skin. Because she's skinny. Because she's skinny. Yeah. It looked like she was hanging on a hanger. (laughs) (laughs) For real. Oh, my goodness. For real. But I like her. I like her a lot because she's very, um, she just wants to model. She's herself. She's herself. I like her. She's not trying. That's what she She doesn't follow trends. Yeah, she doesn't follow the sisters. Mm Mm-mm. Yeah. yeah, she's definitely herself. And she might be the most talented on the DL. She might be. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. She walks in silence. Yeah. She walks in silence. Yeah. And yeah. that's what I like Because the rest of them are like follow the leader. She front and center. She doesn't yeah. always have to be. And she's stunning. She's gorgeous. She is. She is. All of them are very good looking women. They really are. Did you see how um Kim was giving up in Paris? No, I didn't. Girl. I don't follow her on Instagram. I do. I don't follow her. Instagram. I like her little middle part, her little makeup. She's cute. I don't follow. And they more. You wait, they they her? they they, they wear more wigs than we do. They sure do. <laughs> they okay. sure do. I don't follow her because no. everything she does is it's just it's so dramatic, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's draining. Is she a Scorpio? No, but she's on the cusp. Oh. Okay. No, she she's mean? not on the cusp. She's actually a Libra. But you know Which that mother's right before. Right. And you, but you know that mother's a Scorpio all day. Chris Jenner is a super Scorpio. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I thought Kim was a Scorpio, because I'm saying everything she does is a bit much. And that's a Scorpio. She's a Libra. Yeah. She's a Libra. See, I'm a Sagittarius. I don't know about the whole sign situation. Like, I know my mom's a Leo. <laughs> I know Steph is a Scorpio and she's definitely over the top. Over the top. You think definitely. So? She'll be like, what over do you the mean? Top. She's over the top, but the top. If y'all think I'm over the top, please write in because yes. I'm not over the top. Yes, you are. Stephanie. I, yes, you Nikki. are. Nikki. <laughs> Nikki. Oh, my God. Let Nikki. Me this. Stephanie. Let me sip this. Yes, Stephanie. Yeah, sip that because you <laughs> are over the top, okay? We are over the top. Yeah, you guys are both Scorpios. Yeah. yeah. And we were actually born on the same day, so. Yes, yeah, so we're born on the same day. See, and so it day. makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But I get along with Scorpio, so yeah. But you guys are definitely a turn up. Yeah, and not sure. too many people can take us. Yeah, you have you to. You have be, to be very strong. You, you have to us. be strong. Yeah. You have to, cause Scorpios will come up in here and be like, "What do you mean?" <laughs> like you, like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's oh not true. God. That's not true. That's not true. Some of us are aggressive like that, you know. Cause me and Nikki were born on the same day. I'm a year older than she is, but we're not the same. We're the same, and and we we have very similar traits. But no, we're different. We're yeah. different. Mm-hmm. She's okay. more aggressive. I am. She's oh more aggressive. God. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I'm not well, aggressive yeah. at all. And she'll definitely be like, "Oh my God, Nikki, why you said that? You thought it. You yeah. just said it." Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Facts. We'll be thinking the same way. Facts. I just say it Facts. out loud. So okay. So we're going to throw to commercial, and when we come back. We have. Our a... fabulous makeover. Oh, my Ooh, goodness. Dang, I like those. Yes. See you soon. Everybody get up when you're feeling down. Everybody get up. Turn your life around. When you trust yourself, you have the power to make up your life. Studio 1031 is an environment where excellence is always expected. We work with all types of people from all walks of life. We give deserving women something that they wouldn't give themselves. Come join this makeup movement. When you're feeling down, turn your life around. Make up your life. Everybody get up when you're feeling down. Everybody get up. When you trust yourself, you have the power to make up your life. Studio 1031 is an environment where excellence is always expected. We work with all types of people from all walks of life. We give deserving women something that they wouldn't give themselves. Come join this makeup movement. 
When you're feeling down, turn your life around. Make up your life. We're back. We are definitely back, and we got Mocha Moms on Long Mocha Island moms in the, in the house. building. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. Oh my yes, goodness. Yes. yes. And they have nominated our next makeover, Miss Donna. Oh, I call her Miss Donna. Miss Donna. Yes. Yeah. And she touched our hearts. She like, really touched our hearts. Yeah. Lori couldn't stop crying. Yeah. See, you She's a much. This okay. is real. I know. Real. You know what? It's real. I couldn't stop crying. I couldn't. Okay. Yeah. No, I was a it's hot okay mess. It's okay to be emotional. It's all right to be emotional. It's all right to show your emotions, show that you care. Mm -hmm. You're a caring person. You're a loving person. <laughs> you know, those are all, those are all good traits. Yeah, you know, right, so I was like a mess. You couldn't, you know, when we heard her story, when she sat down and talked to us, you know, you couldn't help but be emotional. So yeah, so we're gonna go right into right the clip into the so clip. you guys could see for yourself. Hi Stephanie, how are you? How are you? I'm okay today. Good. Today's a good day. Still have a lot of pain as always. My pain is daily, but I'm okay today. God is good. God is definitely good. I'm glad that we could get you in here when we could mm -hmm. to get started with your makeover. So before we get started, I just want you to give um, give the audience out there just a little bit of what you've been going through. Well, for the past couple of years, I have been battling multiple illnesses. I've had been diagnosed in 2011 with uh, five meningiomas that on the brain. Only one could have been removed. That was my first surgery, and after that, caused me to have they call TIAs, which are mini strokes. I also suffer from addition to that with external hydrocephalus and neurofibromatosis. Those are my neurological issues that cause me to have seizures all the time, cause me to have different blackouts, and I have, because of all of that, and depression on the brain, I have a chunk that's I'm dependent on for life that's on the brain. So it goes from my ventricle part of the brain and it drains out into my heart. So that's the first set of issues. I've had 10 brain surgeries already since then. And while dealing with that, I was also diagnosed with endo, what they call adenocarcinoma, which is a cancer of the uterine lining. And at the same time, I was dealing with my ovarian cancer, which led me to have a full, complete, total hysterectomy. Right after that, I was diagnosed separately with ductal carcinoma in situ, which is a form of breast cancer, and I'm also BRCA1 positive. So I had a complete double mastectomy where everything was taken out at one time, and since then, I have also had some of the cancer cells that have begun to regroup, and I've had a few lumpectomies on my reconstructed breast mounds, which is now my, I call them my abdominal groups. So on top of that, I also been diagnosed with what they call systemic lupus, which also I have another autoimmune disease, which is called systemic sclerosis. So all of these things combined together leaves me in constant pain all day long. My body is really, really breaking down. It's, the lupus alone is affecting many of my body organs. My GI system is really messed up right now, and it's also triggering my issues with my brain to be, you know, get worse. So everyone who knows me knows that I like to look nice. Lately, I have not been feeling good inside, so it's beginning to reflect on the outside. Okay. I don't have the pride in myself anymore like I used to because I just feel like every day is a struggle. Every time you go to the doctor, it's something else. It's, it's depressing. Everyone always says, oh, Donna, you're so strong, you're this, you're that. But deep down inside, everyone doesn't realize that I am weak and I am breaking. That is really, really hard. So getting this makeover for me right now would make me feel 
a little bit better and it will make me feel like, yes, I'm still attractive, I'm yes. still sexy, yes. I still how I used to be, yes. even though I don't have certain things, Definitely. because that's how I would feel. Definitely. Yeah. Donna sent me some pictures of her before looks because we're trying to, you know, construct a wig for her and she sent me some pictures of her and I looked at the pictures and I was like, wow, this is a beautiful woman and she's she's a diva, you know, and that's, you know, what we said is not just about the hair, it's, it's, it's about a lot of other things that we try to touch on here at Make Be Life. You were nominated because you are so deserving and I want to talk to you a little bit about your style. So what I've seen so far, you know, beautiful wigs, darker, but we talked and chatted about throwing some color in there. Your daughter said you need some color in there and everybody knows that I love color. So I want, I want to get your opinion on, you know, what you think about throwing a little bit of color in into our new creation. I'm going to try it. Well, yes, I am. Anything that's going to make me feel better. Okay. I'm, I'm all for it. Okay. All right. Well, you guys stay tuned. We're going to construct a wig for Miss Donna. We're going to throw some color in there. Symphony and I are going to get on it tonight. Symphony, better be ready. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll, um, we'll see you on Sunday. I am here with Donna. She is our makeover of the week. And we are going to give her a lovely, lovely look. I have a vision for her. I can't wait for you to see it. I'm going to give her a very natural, glowy look. I'm going to do a mild contour. I'm going to add some lash extensions on her. I'm also going to sculpt her brow, give her a beautiful lip. And Donna, what do you think? How do you feel about that? I like it. And I'm real anxious, and I can't wait. I'm happy. All right. So we are back. So basically, I hope you guys were tuning in on that video. My voice, as you can hear, is getting choked up. Um, but we have her here, and we can't wait for you guys to see the big reveal. So we are going to bring her out. Here she is, here she Donna is. Smith. Woo! One out, baby. Woo! Wow. You look beautiful. I feel beautiful. <laughs> Step back a little bit right there so they can see you. Right there. Okay, now come on. Come on through. Come on through. Come on through. Yes. Come have a seat. Have a seat and talk to us. Oh. oh thank you. Oh my goodness. Isn't she beautiful? Yes. I'm loving this whole look. I'm loving this whole look. Oh my God. Totally you did your thing on this outfit. Oh, oh my God. Thank you. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. You are absolutely gorgeous. I feel beautiful. Thank you. With or without the dress and the makeup and the hair. You are a beautiful soul. You are beautiful. And you are a strong, strong, strong black woman. Strong black woman. Thank you. I feel like myself. I usually, my cousin would tell you, I usually clean my house and clean chicken and heels and stuff. <laughs> but now I feel like myself. I yeah. really do. Thank you. Yeah. I feel better. Yeah. And she showed me some pictures of her before, you know, I knew she was a diva. So... We wanted to make sure that that showed through with the makeover. Yes. We wanted to give her back that feeling and that look. That so, glow, just, just bring it right back. It yes. never went anywhere. It was just stem down, but you are gorgeous. Been thank through a lot. You. And I would really, really like to thank um, Mocha Moms. Mocha Moms for you know, nominating her for this makeover. She deserves it so much. I thank Mocha Moms also for the <laughs> nomination. And I thank Tony also for the makeover, yes. for the outfit. Thank Lori for the yes. design. And and I had help. So Miss um, Symphony. Symphony put this wig together for, you know, she custom made the wig. Um, I custom, I did the custom color 
we put a little highlights in there, a little, well, actually low lights in there because I didn't want to really go too high with the color, but she absolutely loved it. And she looks absolutely fabulous. It is yeah. definitely her. <laughs> but I told her she will definitely be wanting some more color in the summertime. Springtime, yeah. she should yeah. a little, a few more highlights in there. Look, look at her. She's gorgeous. She's so good. She's gorgeous. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. I love it. So tell us, you know, uh, you know, we heard already, but we want you to talk about what you want to talk about about your journey. My journey is a, it's an everyday fight. It, it is. It's a hard fight every day. But it's something that my new norm is pain. My new norm is I know what lies ahead of me. And I know that doctors say one thing, but I know my ultimate is what God says. Yes. Okay. Yes. So he has the last I'm word. not giving up mm -hmm. until God says it's my time. I know I fight every day because I have a whole handful of grandchildren that I fight for every day, that I live for, and I have a bunch of nieces and nephews that Auntie Donna is their everything. Mm -hmm. And that's what I know I have to fight for. I get up every day, I fend through my I fight through my pain, I go through what I go through and I deal with it. So I do what I have to do to get through. And we applaud you. We applaud you mm -hmm. for this fight. You're fighting multiple things, you know. Mm -hmm. And and like you said, God always has the last say. He yeah. always has the last mm -hmm. say. Lori's emotional. Yeah. I always make Lori cry. I yeah. know. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know, when I met you and I walked in, because, you know, we meet the makeover before. We meet the person who we're going to do the makeover on. And, you know, she you get to meet them. And I walked in, and she just was sitting there all nice and calm. She wasn't even angry or anything, you know. She just sat and was just like, hi, you know. And I was like, hi, I was so excited. Then she started to say her story, and it just was not stopping. For me, I was like, we're still going? Like, so that's where it hit me because... It's enough to deal with one, but for you to be strong, to, it's like you you get down, get back up, get down, get back up, get down. So for me, it's like, whew. So this makeover means a lot to me. You know, I'm just so thankful and honored that you even gave me and Stephanie the opportunity to, you know, just. You lifted my spirits. Yeah. <laughs> so you did yeah. for me. Yeah. When we, when we, you know, Symphony came in and she helped you know, a fit the wig and it's like her face totally lit up when we put the hair on it. And I know that feeling because I love when I get yes, my hair done. Yes, yes. I'm getting my hair done over this week. Okay, girls? So get ready. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, it was just so... It was so, like, those are those feel feelings it. that you, that's what, how we feel every day when we make somebody's, somebody over in yes. terms of giving them a new look. My client on Saturday was the same way. She... Oh my God! Oh, I want a pixie. I want this. I want that. So when she sat in my chair and I cut all her hair off, and she just got that glow back, and immediately when she left the salon, I hear a ping on my phone. She already uploaded it to Facebook, yes. Michelle, <laughs> and she was like, "I'm back." And I was that. Those are the feelings. It's that, a, it's a, yeah, it's a great feeling. Yeah. it really is. So rewarding. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna wrap it up little bit and we just want to thank you and the mocha moms for sponsoring this makeover and we want you to keep this look up when you need when you need us you call, call us. us i will okay we definitely. will definitely service the wig for you and Lori will definitely hook, hook your, your makeup up mm -hmm. yeah yeah and if anyone out there has a makeover you can give us an email at Make up your life 1031 at gmail.com. Yes. And you can talk to Sharon and she will get she'll get you um over to us and we can we can get facilitate your makeover. That. Yeah. 
Yeah. And we just want to thank the viewers. Yeah. Thank the audience. Thank you for liking and sharing. Yes. Yeah. Thank the audience for being here tonight and supporting us. And we want to thank my girl, Nikki. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Nikki. For coming and slaying the name with us. And I want to thank Tony Jefferson yes, also. Absolutely. Because she always, I get so excited to see what's up. When I'm like, oh, what, what dress did you get? Because yeah, we don't know what, the, don't what, know. what she's going to wear <laughs> yeah. until she gets here. Yes. And this was absolutely perfect. It's like, you, it's like everything was in sync. Goddess the vibes. hair, the makeup, mm -hmm. everything, just, it was perfect. It was perfect. Great minds think alike, yeah. Yes. Well, we want to thank you again. And yeah. we are going to get back to our drinks. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you all for watching, and we will see you next week on Make Up Your Life. Bye. Everybody get up.